chocolates. They're weird. You can't eat flowers. Okay. So I know you tried, but sorry. Flowers. And I would also go with flowers. I like mm -hmm. smelling things as opposed to eating things. And I have a nut allergy. Chances are that chocolates oh, true, are going to have nuts. I don't know. Flowers, like, they, they're pretty and then they die. At least, like, yeah. chocolate, I can enjoy something <laughs> out of it. Flowers. Because I think chocolates you could buy from anywhere. Flowers, you can customize it unique to the person you're trying to impress on Valentine's Day. I say flowers. Flowers, specifically tulips. Specifically Trader Joe's flowers. I like a good romantic song to sing to in the car. I guess uh, I gotta go. I'm a big Billy Joel guy, so she's got away, you know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're 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 golden with anything by Adele. I oh. Think. Like easy on me, great. That can be good. Can you take a movie example. Yes. When Harry Met Sally. Oh, so good. When Harry Met Sally, Love Rosie. Oh, oh, The Age of Adeline. That's a good one too. So yeah, those are, those are good movies. Now there's the ra the rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite love song is Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Can you sing it? A baby! <laughs> Ooh, city. No, beach. I take it back. I like doing nothing. Yeah, I'd have to say beach too. Yeah. We also like live near like a very like popular city, so I feel like it's not really a vacation, it's just like go to work. I would go with a beach vacation mm -hmm. because I like the breeze. I would go for beach vacation because I already live in a city. I can do that. I can go anytime. Being in, in like Florida or like Myrtle Beach, somewhere like Outer Banks, give me that. Like I'll take beach any day of the week. Even if I'm a ginger and I'm probably going to burn 90% of the time. Oh, uh, it's okay. Beach vacation, easy. I think I beach vacation for sure. Easy. Working in Manhattan, I like working in Manhattan, but uh, I could never live there, vacation there. I don't know what you would do there for a vacation. Once you go to the Herbert School, it's, it's a very, it's a place a lot of people end up working in the yes. city or living near the city. So I feel like escaping to the beach, like the-, the Even Jones Beach, right? Even Jones Park. Beach, yeah. Oh. My, my whole life, I grew up going to the Jersey Shore, so I absolutely will always say beach vacation. Yeah, be, beach 100%. When you go to the city for internships and stuff, I have, I was walking down, I was, I was riding the escalator down to the subway, a rat just walks across me, so. Like this summer, I went kayaking in a lake, and Ooh. I saw all these weird, I saw these cool birds, and oh, I was yeah. at peace, and it was wonderful. Just to hear the chirping? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I think dining, out because it costs less. Because when you dine and it's normally DoorDash, and then like it's like, oh, like who's gonna pay for like the, the, the DoorDash fee? Like it's it's just like it's a whole thing. I was gonna say dine in because then you two can cook together and make your own dinner. I don't cook. I would choose at home because then I could sit in my PJs and I could eat and be comfy. I would go to a restaurant because then I don't have to make anything. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> when you go to a really, really nice restaurant, nothing beats that. Like, could you imagine going on a first date at like Bits and Bites? No. That's, that's not, no. Dining out for sure, five star restaurant. If you get me mad, then we're just switching plans to McDonald's and you're not even looking at the regular <laughs> menu, we're looking at the value meals, so. <laughs> I would say, uh, here, here, here's my answer. I would say uh, you order in from a nice, beautiful restaurant, take it to the top floor of the library, I believe the 10th floor. You can see the beautiful city view from up there. It'll be romantic. Uh, the ER is electric every day you walk in. You know, the people are just phenomenal. You got the vir vertical video lab that we're in right now. The colors, I mean, it just makes my hair pop. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. And then, of course, the namesake, Lawrence Herbert himself. I think what I love most about the Herbert School is when you walk into any studio, whether it's the Vertical Video Lab, Studio Sound, Studio A, just when you walk in there and no one's in there and it's just quiet, you can just feel the potential and the energy in the room when you walk in there and you, could, you know that you can really make anything happen in those studio spaces. I guess just the people, my classmates, my coworkers, they make being here a lot more fun and just a good sense of community. I think um, uh, there's a lot of outlets for us to be creative here, so we can do a lot of fun things. So, yeah. 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 Man, there's so many. Uh, my, my answer is obvious. Four call letters. W R H U. It's just that simple. I'd say I just like going around and seeing all these people that I work with every day that I connect with on a truly emotional and spiritual level. God, like Sir Tom Brady. You're gonna make me cry. Absolutely, yeah. 88.7 FM. There, there's no better station and the professional experience I've gained, you know, I'll be able to take it with me for the rest of my life. When you walk through the school, there's always like somebody to talk to. Like yeah. we know everybody here. You can walk into the equipment room and just like 
talk with your friends. Like yeah. it's a great environment to just like all be creating things together. That was propaganda through the roof. You're yeah, welcome, you're Dean welcome. Luke. <laughs> <laughs>